Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Pathfinder, Wrath of the Righteous. Last episode, we went through hell trying to fix what we had done with the, um, the, uh, whatchamacallit mod, the respect mod. Uh, we had to go back and redo all of episode 25, and I just realized I named this episode, episode 63, which I think that's where we were at in, um, Kingmaker. Uh, whatever. Oh. Holy crap, dude. This music. You know this is hell right here. Only hell has such cool music. The commander begins, or the commander becomes the host to an anomalous force. His dreams are filled with strange visions. He feels the space around him distort, and his sensory organs are flooded by false images, spread by distortions of light and air. Reality itself tries to expel the commander into some dark tunnel. At the other end, a grim figure awaits. Maybe it's not. I don't know. I don't remember this. His body resists this crude attempt to wrench it from reality, but the unknown force finds a tangle in the commander's soul. One made of demonic rage and destructive desire. Oh, this is this is by demon stuff? The stranger grabs at it and pulls, like a hunter reeling in a harpoon. Troubled by the sudden intrusion, the dark and ominous force deep in the commander's soul answers with a menacing growl. The commander. Oh, this is cool. Uh, yeah, I've never seen this before. Stares intently at the ghostly figure. Tries to understand what's going on, unleashes the dark and unbridled part of his soul. Uses every effort to suppress the tangle of rage in his soul, which the mysterious power has latched onto. Try to understand what's going on. Why is my arcana so bad? I'm intelligent. Damn. However, the commander has never encountered anything like this before. He stares. Okay. Unleash the dark and unbridled part of his soul. With a triumphant and savage howl, it breaks free and fills the commander's thoughts and senses. Its rage, like a burning spear, streaks along the dark tunnel to the one who dared trouble the commander. A heart-rending scream filled the, with pain and animal fear strikes your ears. The moment passes and the attraction fades. The enemy has withdrawn back to the shadows. The apparition recedes, leaving the commander wondering whether it was reality or a nightmare. Cool. Yeah, I thought that was hell because he got the guitar riffs going on. <laughs> Alright, Demon Army. Kill him. I should have... Nah, nah. We're fine. We're fine. It's okay. Oh, man. Elementals. That's not good. Um, well, this guy tried to get close to us, so let's destroy him. Alright, fire. Good. Fire. Good. Need you to come over here. Need you to come here. Block the path for them. Destroy him. He only got two of them there. Hit him. Again. Could have been better. Finish him. Good. Oh, nice. Good damage. Get in there. Smite him. Get in there. Ah, oh, damn, he's still alive. Okay, he's not gonna do a lot of damage, though. It's just a matter of time, then. There we go. Victory! That was a good victory. Is those elementals. I didn't even look at what they were. I probably should have. That would have been smart. Also, do all these armies have like a little description? I think they might. Tyranny of Mind. After pacifying the elementals, the soldiers found the remains of a cultist sorcerer in the middle of a broken summoning circle. Despite his apparently outstanding magical power, he was unable to control the raging spirits he had, he had brought into existence. His stiff fingers were still clenching the horrendous flail he used as a weapon. 
This plus two heavy flail can be safely wielded by only by non-good characters. Each time the wielder of this weapon lands a hit with it, has to pass a will save or become effective with the uh, with the equivalent of the dominate person spell for one round. Ooh. If a good character wields this weapon, they become permanently confused even if they unequip it. Oh, so it's a cursed weapon. Huh. Neat. Did I use this as Baron? I don't know if I was using heavy flails. I think I was using one-handed flails, huh? But we leveled up again. <clears throat> we need to get bull strength here. Or cure wounds. Cure wounds. And I'm going to get bull strength. Yeah. I, I've never gotten that before, I don't think. I know I've used cure wounds before, but... Alright, let's switch to you. You need to give all your soldiers over. Thank you very much. How are we doing on recruits, by the way? Eh, not great. Okay. You go to camp. Manorax Legion. We really probably need to kill them so that I can go there and get the Hell Knights. Even though I think this is a more dangerous journey. And I forgot to look for the description thing again. Damn it. Oh yeah, they got gargoyles. Okay. Fire. And this is why these guys are so important. Now you need to kill these uh, skeleton sharpshooters. Just knock a lot of them down. Okay. Come up here, hit him. Get gargoyles down. You're gonna heal yourself. And then move here. You're gonna hit the ghouls. Good. Fire. Fire. Okay. We're gonna smite him. Good damage. Fire. Oh yeah, they have like a stun effect, don't they? Doesn't even matter. So strong. Good. The way to the Hell Knights is now open. So we can get them. And I think we will do that first before we go back and explore over here. Um, we can either go back over here. They are defending the Nameless Ruins that we need to get to. That's fine. I guess they don't have descriptions. I think that I think the fort ones do. Maybe. Or maybe not. Alright, and here we can get material points and energy points. Yeah, we should be able to take them. Actually, maybe not. Those are Brimorax. Those guys are tough. But we, we have the elemental resistance trait. So maybe we can do that. How do we do that? Oh, is it just like a passive thing? Hmm. Okay, well in that case, go ahead and use your powers to kill the cultists. Nice. And you start firing there. Alright. Defend. Defend. Kill the cultist. Fire. Good, they're gone. Defend. Good. Go ahead and use it on them. Fire. Fire. Good damage. Good damage. Can you get over here, fighters? You sure can. Oh, no. I didn't kill them. Get up here. Fight them. Oh, I didn't hurt him either. Embarrassing. 
All right, we have won. Yet another victory for Manorax Legion. After the battle, one of the soldiers noticed a half effacist or effaced inscription on a nearby stone. What remained of the engraving led the crusaders to a secluded cave where they found a stash of miscellaneous miscellaneous relics that some selflessly devoted clerics had managed to rescue from fallen Dresden. They also discovered flasks of sanctified oil and boxes of regent reagents for rituals and sacred masses. It would appear the brave priests hid their sacred artifacts in one final attempt to save them from demonic threat. Get on them. All right, I don't think we can fight them. So we'll make our way back north. Up, oh, you're done. And we are going to be headed to Reliable Redoubt. Headed on down, headed on down. A military outpost built along the walls of the canyon that riddle the world wound. The army who erected it clearly believed that the place offered some safety. Let's check it out. Yeah, after we do this, we'll head back towards Canabras and explore those paths and those places. But this seemed rather pressing. Okay, so before we... Now that we have... This is... I think this is probably going to be our main party. I think Reggie's the only one who could get into it. Graybor, maybe? But I don't know. I like Wooljif a lot. He'd be the one that would make way for somebody. If somebody does go. But, um... I still need to set up the buffs here, so... Make sure this is on everyone, right? Add to all. Wait. Why is it doing that? Do I just put it on one person? I think we just put it on one person. It goes to everyone. Okay. Okay, okay. Um, large person's fine. Bless. Move from all and we just put it on one guy, right? Or at all? No, that's fine. Okay. Magical vestment armor. That goes to... You're putting it on yourself? I guess that's fine. I'm supposed to put it on me, your, on me though. Yeah. <laughs> it's not fine. I've changed my mind. Um... And th these are the long buffs. So Vanish would not be one of them. Heroism is one of them. How many can we put it on? Two? Got two we can put it on. Okay. One for you. And who's the other person we'd want it on? Probably Camellia, actually. Or maybe... Who else does a lot of damage? Wolgif, maybe? Put it on Wolgif. That might change, but... Mirror image is a minute per level. Shield of Faith, minute per level. Blur, minute per level. False Life Greater is an hour per level. It goes on you. Oh yeah, Freedom of Movement too. Put that on you. That's 10 minutes per level, right? Yeah. Alright, am I missing any? Where are the um, short buffs? I thought I had full strength. I do. Okay. So the minute per level ones now. Um, ba -ba 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 All the resistance ones, I they're situational. So I can't really put those on. Shield of Faith. Apparently somebody has that. We can put it on somebody. That should go on... Oh, there, there are none available. Okay, never mind. We have Blur. That goes on you. Because you're a tank. Mirror image. On you and on you. Since you guys have them. 
I guess that's that's all of those. Yeah. Okay, abilities. Oh, he can cast resistance to all of them? Well, that's interesting. I'll, I'll handle that stuff myself. It says I have this ability, but I haven't seen it. I don't believe him. I wonder why I can't see, like, my scrolls or something in here. Oh, shit. I was... Damn it. I was putting those on. That's a short buff. So our normal, remove it. Short on her. What was the other one? You guys. These are short buffs. I think that's all of them. I think I got everything right. Okay. So, buff. Okay, so that was only resist energy on me. Oh, lovely. <laughs> that's fine. Um... Make sure your blade is active. All right, so you should have... Yep, there we go. Okay. Just notice you don't have your armor on. Did I take that off of you? Uh, well, I guess you can't use it anymore. Is this better for you? No. Is this better for you? No. Same. Right. I remember. Is it better for me? E for this situation, yes. Not necessarily for every situation, but for this particular situation, it is. Okay. We also have... Where's my cat? Or my owl cat? It's active. Make sure everything's active that we have. Oh yeah, we have those um those things too. The the tankard. Okay. I think we're ready. Looks like the Hell Knight continued to fight the gargoyle even from the air. They both fell to the rocks and perished. That's rough, buddy. Commander, come here quickly. going on down here from the mountain you see a raided camp in two groups of warriors one wearing white and yellow armor the other in black they are led by a tall man in white priest's robes some of the warriors glance around fretfully their weapons shaking in their hands you hear the screams of gargoyles from from above the beasts are approaching the camp quickly evacuate the wounded the beasts are about to strike again. Use cloaks as stretchers. We've got to make it through. Paralictor, your people will have to cover us while... Two more minutes left out in the open, and neither you nor I will have any troops left to order about Crusader. Ah, Regil. Look at him. In all his glory. But the wounded... <laughs> Retreat to shelter. My kind of guy. The one called Paralictor makes a barely noticeable gesture and the swords of his troops execute the wounded. If the man in white has anything further to add, his words are drowned out by the shrieks of gargoyles as they fall from the sky. The Paralictor will lead the unit to the shelter. We need to get through to them. Alright. Good luck. Stay safe. We do not have the right formation. Yeah, I should not be in the front. Okay, Wooljif. I don't know why that's grayed out. Get it out of here then. No, that should be there. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um. 
We can sharpen our blade. So spell strike is active. Meaning I should be able to do this thing, right? Gus let's do spell recall. You know what? Let's try it. Oh, we missed. A natural one, really? Okay. All right. Um, we could bane him. I don't think we need to do that right now, though. I did pick up Kukri on you, didn't I? Oh, that was probably pretty foolish of me. Banish Manorak. Okay. What is your AC at, by the way? 30. Damn, you're still getting hit. Don't really want to use any spell. Do I have two uses of bull strength? I should be using both of them. The spirits demand your blood. How'd you know I was here? How'd you know? Is this a is a standard action? That's for one minute per level. Yeah, do that. Increase my strength. Wait. At one point, gain four profane strength and bonus to strength and two damage rolls. So our strength is up to 25 or 21. So that's five now. Okay. You make sure your claws are active. I wish those just stayed on all the time. That'd be nice. You back up. And I forgot to do this. We need to remember to do that. And for some reason, we are bowling infusion. This is fine. Fire. They'll beg me to stop. Cover me, all right? Come on, man. Don't. Don't make me look bad by missing. I'll make short work of this. You guys can't see me. You are today's Good. sacrifice. How did fuck you, man? Die. That's what you get. No match for me. Good. Zappy or Zappy? Why not both? Okay. That answers that question. You can dual wield. You guys probably already answered that for me or knew. Out of my sight. How we go for their hearts. Die. We do a shit ton of damage when we hit, though. We just make sure we're hitting, like, constantly. Alright, let's keep moving. You have your aspect on? Whatever comes next, we'll be Turn that off. I don't want that on right now. I got more gargoyles here. Shoot them. 16 damage. I keep forgetting to do the the thing. The thing, man. The thing. Good sneak attack. You come over here. What's your AC at? 21? Okay. What's yours at? 23. Go ahead and charge him. Good. Charge past him. Get here. Oh, I can charge him from here because I'm reach. Nice. Fire. Get damage. He's going to move past up to her. Perfect for you to come and hit him. Oh, did we stun him? That's that's abrupt forced, right? That does that. I'll cut you wide open. All right. Back up and fire. Manorak, finish this guy off. Good. And Darren. Good job, everybody. Nice and clean. That's what I like. Hopefully we can keep it up. Save it.
Thank you for that. Bastard Sword of Hope. The sight before you is at once macabre and picturesque. A lifeless couple, a man and a woman dressed in white and yellow priest's robes, lie on the ground surrounded by the bodies of dead gargoyles. They are tangled in death. The claws of the monsters are tearing at the human's clothes, and the largest gargoyle's talon has pierced the man's chest and punctured his heart. Before they die, he or his companion defeated the enemy. Suddenly, the woman opens her eyes. She doesn't look at you, but stares up at the world wound's horrific sky. Her pale lips open, and she exhales abruptly. The sun will never rise again. The only darkness above me, or there's only darkness above me. Even the sky here is cursed. And we all, and we along with it. I really fucked that up. <laughs> Yakker, walking in the front, steps over the man's body without looking, but turns around at the sound of the woman's voice. The Mendevian faith will break too easily. Oh, if all Mendevian dotes broke easily, I would be much happier. Unfortunately, most of them have good health, unconquerable will, and a never-ending desire to moralize. Darren is jeering, but looks at the wounded woman with hesitation. He shrugs. She is not just wounded. I can see the signs of severe exhaustion. I wonder what, ha I wonder what happened to her. You need help. You feel better now. Healer. Who are you? What happened here? I'm a priestess of Ardent Saren Ray, from the Order of the Sunrise Sword. Next to me is Ashes, Ashes Strader, or Strayer, the head of our order. Sorrowful pride sounds in the woman's voice. He has led our forces on raids to the World Moon many times, but this campaign, the Gargoyles, the, I don't know why I said it like that, attacked a few nights ago. A vast number. We've never seen anything like it. Ashes organized our resistance with great skill, but while the monsters were distracting our fighters, a small group of them raided the camp and took our supplies. We were left without food and water in the middle of the world wound, where it's nearly impossible to find provisions. We shared the last crumbs of our supplies and set off back the way we came. Everyone was suffering from hunger and thirst. We grew weak and could barely fight back when the gargoyles struck a second time. They snatched many of us away. I saw the pain on Ashes' face as he counted the losses, but he managed to rally us. We continued our trek and soon came across traces of a recent battle. Someone had destroyed a troop of demon worshippers. In our desperation, we decided to follow the strangers, to warn them of the gargoyles and seek their help, having no idea that they were Hell Knights. But we received only scorn. Every gulp of water in my unit is accounted for, they said. They spared us two flasks and a sack of dried bread. They said we were allowed to keep the sack to use as bandages. Two flasks between all of us, a sack of bandages. A sack for bandages. Don't expect any goodness from those black tin cans. If you meet them, count yourself lucky if you don't end up nailed to the nearest fence post. Life can be cruel. In times of war or famine, folk are sometimes forced to make ugly choices like that. Because if they don't, it'll cause even more death. But there's this one thing I've noticed. Oprah glances at Yakker. Some chieftains loathe making decisions like that. After they do it, they drink and blame themselves, even though they know they did the right thing. Other ones, however, are all too happy to make them. They even boast about it afterward. Look at me in my heart of stone and my head on my head of iron. And they're right to boast. It takes strength and authority to make such a decision. If you've ever had to do it, that means you're above most people. Of course, you should let them know. They should respect you. What? You think it's better to drink and snivel? I think you're a bloodthirsty twit. And that's all you'll hear from me about it. You wouldn't understand anyway. What happened after that? The gargoyles attacked. Despite how the Hell Knight Paralector had treated us, Ashes endeavored to help them and had us carry their wounded. But that monster had them slaughtered. Ashes was beside himself. It's difficult to conceive of such evil. He told our people to go with the Hell Knights to find shelter while we stayed to cover our retreat. The woman exhales softly. He was a strong cleric, but as he treated our wounded, he neglected himself, and he paid for it. That's quite a story. I can just picture it on the stage of a grand royal theater, rustling silk gold adornments, the tragic lead singing the final aria. 
Is it time for me to pod yet? It's not often that you come across such heart-wrenching and theatrical plots outside the stage. You have excellent taste. When this war is over, would you care to accompany me to some fashionable premiere? We can yawn through the soliloquies, laugh at the role-hopping actors, that sort of lark. Possibly. Then it's agreed. After the war, six o'clock sharp. Uh, step over the woman, woman, the wounded woman, and walk away. Let's hurry. The gargoyles could return at any moment. And step back to her and loot her. <laughs> Even take the armor off her. Okay. Fire. Good damage. Actually, not great. It's reduced. We need to get... What's reducing that? Is it just physical damage it's reducing? Reduction to magic. Is that something I can get rid of with the uh, mythic powers? Maybe we should go for like a, like a, an energy blast for our second type, like fire or water. I kind, I want to avoid fire just because we're doing magma on Kinera and Kingmaker, but it might be the best to go for. Time to share your treasures. Time to share those treasures. Move up. Run them through. Good attack of opportunity there. Back up. We should be using that too. What is this one? Oh, I have deadly aim. I didn't know I took deadly aim. Is that actually helping me? I need to actually know if that's helping me. Okay, no, it is. Okay. Good to know. Alright, Darren, you move over here. Fire. I will see to your demise. Why didn't he get an attack of opportunity? Oh, that's no good. Alright. Um, you're gonna come up here and hit him. Good. Go ahead and charge him. Well, you guys take on the cleric. You're gonna step back again and fire. Not supposed to miss, but that's okay. Precision and grace. Owie. Alright, Manorak, you help out here. Okay. Now we're getting um outflank plus two. Yeah, hell yeah. They don't know how Good. They are. Go for their did I get outflank on Wolgif? I don't think I did. Distract them for me. But maybe I did. Maybe I was smart. Ow. You guys are your negative energy. Let's hear you cry. Dead. Oh, uh oh. Get wrecked, man. They better start running. I'll cut you wide open. Time to share your treasures. Okay. I need you to step up still. Because we're gonna need to get closer. Nice. Another one of you? God damn. Get out of my face. Alright, now we can come over here. The spirits demand your blood. Cover me, alright? Good. They're begging. I will see to your demise. Hey. Right. Out of his way. Damn. Clawing time. You are today's sacrifice. Savvy or zap you. Why not both? Now does Outflank stack between all of them? That'd be nice. 
Ooh, some more magic essence. I don't remember when we see the storyteller again, though. Took all these potions. Gonna unlock that for me, please. I am helpful. Am I not? Muscle warmer. You guys had plenty of supplies. I don't know what you were what you were on about. Look at all these supplies. Alright, let's go check this out. Demonic energy has polluted the earth, creating tumors filled with poison. Lovely. Anything back here? Move out. Like a hidden item, maybe? No? Come on, where's my hidden item? Damn. Alright, let's go in here. I remember this part being actually kind of difficult. But also, I think um, I think we've got a pretty good party here. Head on. Let's go ahead and use our short buffs. Okay. Night Commander, I presume. Your glory precedes you. I am Regil de Reg, Heralictor of the Order of the God Claw. Contemporary officer of the Joint Unit of Hell Knights and the Order of the Sunrise Sword. You and your people should take positions. The gargoyles are regrouping. We expect they will attempt to break through in five to six minutes. The moment you step across the threshold, you're targeted with pale yellow eyes. A gnome with considerable gray hair, dressed in black armor, lowers his head slightly. Yeah, now that I think about it, I don't think him and Manorak will get along once Manorak starts going demon. A paralictor indeed. Impressive. Are you in command of this unit? Oh, no? Then step aside and let me discuss the matter with the commander. The gnome interrupts Daerin confidently. <laughs> Would you look at their get up? Head to toe in black. You can tell right away that lot means business. How can they move in all that armor, I wonder? <laughs> Those spikes must catch on everything, eh? <laughs> and answering the call of nature, that'd put the fear in you. One slip and <laughs> you've killed it yourself. <laughs> right, I like Olberg. <laughs> he does not acknowledge Olberg's wit with so much as a glance. A joint unit? Forcibly joint. The leader of the Order of the Sunrise Sword was unable to get to safety, which is not surprising, considering his, shall we say, Excessive scrupulousness and sluggishness. Given the extreme situation, I took command of his people. Hmm. Regil speaking with military precision and economy. Just great. Paladins and Hell Knights all in the one troop. It's like catching the plague and the pox at the same time. <laughs> it's supposed to be good when different people unite. We're here for a common cause. But... It still gives me the creeps for some reason. Hell Knights shouldn't be allowed to get their claws into our paladins. It's wrong. Finian, I swear I will remember to talk to you one day, buddy. I saw you ordered your own wounded to be finished off. Indeed. The gargoyles were clearly trying to capture as many prisoners as they could. I don't know the reason behind these abductions, but I'm not about to give the enemy what they want. That is why all my people were ordered not to be taken alive. And as for the wounded, we didn't have time to get them to safety anyway. What charming people. Those fellows in black make Holren look like a sweet old soul by comparison. Hmm. Did you really just give two flasks of water to the Knights of the Sunrise Sword, suffering from thirst, and a sack to use as bandages? Standing behind his commander, Yakker rolls his eyes. I spared them the exact volume of resources I could sacrifice without risking my own people. However, the situation has developed, and I've already ordered they be given additional supplies. They are temporarily under my charge, and I can use their forces to rebuff the attack. They'll work for their water. Regil raises his voice and speaks emphatically, ignoring a whisper coming from the group of knights of the Sunrise Sword. 
He seems to be reiterating his position for their benefit. Hey, man, I don't really care. <laughs> In a place like the World Wound, we all need to stick together, even if that means sacrificing something for a comrade. I like your approach. It makes sense to make sure your own people have enough resources and then share what remains with someone with everyone else. Sometimes you must act first and deal with the consequences later. Sacrifice nothing and you will gain nothing. Compassion is an amusement for the com for the comfortable for the comfortable times of peace. There's no place in war. It seems you had little choice, either your people or the knights suffered. Compassion is an amusement for the comfortable times of peace. There's no place in war. <laughs> Indeed. And particularly in a war against demons. Regil chuckers, ch chuckers harshly. Uh, you hear some of the knights in the white and yellow sigh sadly, but their sighs are drowned out by the hum of soft approval. We need to get rid of the gargoyles, then we'll talk. Agreed. Be ready, Commander. This attack may be worse than the last one. I like how they don't give me any time to get ready. <laughs> Damn, Yacker, get in there. All right, let's go ahead and start off with one of these. Good damage. Good damage. One gargoyle down. Yeah, you guys go block my path up there. I'll do what I can to help you out. No match for me. Like, miss my shot. Okay, Darren. Let's go ahead and rage. Camellia, get up there. Go for their hearts. Ulbrig. Also get up there. Good shot. Are you guys going to hit anything? Where's the cleric at? I thought they had like a cleric. Hmm. Distract them for me. Yeah! Let's hear you cry. Damn, we just obliterated him. Uh-oh. Dog move here. Fire. Good. Cleared that group off. Um, move here. Fire. Precision and grace. I'll cut you wide good. Open. This will be the stuff of good, good. Good. Reggie. Buddy. I guess you do need to get to them, huh? Get in there, Yacker. Who's that? I was just a, just a crusader. Time to share your treasures. Gone. Run this nice of you to come up here to meet me. I'll rip you apart. Move here. And it is nice being immune to negative energy. Time. Get in there. All right, you're going after this guy. Out of my way. Gotta keep. I need to start remembering to do. Oh, Bulge, you've got. Hit hard there. They'll beg me to stop. Out of my sight. Can you charge him? Yep. Good. Can you charge either one of them? Nope. Get over here then. Start running. All right, so after this attack, we need to see. Are you, 
Do you have outflanking? Okay, you do. Good. Okay. Die! You can handle them, right? Are there more? More, do you say? Okay. All right. Well, Jeff, you got any healing potions on you? You do not. That's fine. I wonder why I can't use that. Hmm. I move here. Um. Oh. Oh, it's because we. Okay. Yeah. We're we're raging. That's why. Get out of my face. How dare you approach me. Clearly doesn't know who I am. <laughs> they don't know how fragile they are. There's actually a whole bunch of them up there. I will see to your demise. And he's get oh that's Yakker. What are you doing way up way up there, Yakker? Oh hi. No match for me. We're surrounded. Yeah, this is when it starts to get a little, a little tough. Mainly because you guys are useless. You can't hit anything. Distract them for me. Good. Kill him, Manorak. Good stuff. Is that on, uh... No. Attacking the Hell Knight. Good. This will be the stuff of legends. Okay, Darren. Attack him. Precision and Got a hit, man. You too, girl. Come on. No time for you to be missing like that. Oh, another Hell Knight down. We'll just come up here. Help out Olberg. I think uh, these two could probably handle this down here. Never mind. Another one down. Hang in there, Ulbrig. Doesn't sound good. Sounds like people were dying down there. Darren, come on, buddy. That's why I need to get you a Kukri. Kill him. Fuck you guys. What are you doing? Shake my bones? How dare you? Cover me, all right. The spirits demand your blood. Okay. Study him. Attack him. Here we go. Ow. Alright, on the cleric. Good. I'll rip you apart. Okay. Numbers are getting a little low here. My bones pile on. Stab your ass. Why not both? Okay. He needs a heal. Go ahead and stop taking that. Oh, I can't. I still can't do it. Ah, shit. Okay. You are today's sacrifice. In that case, he'll have to. I don't know if we have any potions. Uh oh. Uh, wounds. 
We have one serious wound one. Okay. Better than dying. All right. Let's hear you cry. He should be dead. He should be dead. This will be the stuff of legend. Uh, go ahead and kill him. I will see to your demise. Hey. Quickly. Aren't you busy? No match for me. Apparently not. I think Manorak might be going down here. Still alive. Distract them for me. Good. Go for their Good. Hit him with that. Oh wait, she probably could have healed him this time. Oh well. Clawing time. Precision and grace. They'll beg me to stop. Maybe he's out of those. Maybe he won't do it because Reggie's in front of him. Guess we're about to find out. Nice. I'm going to live. I'm going to live. Time to share your treasures. I'll cut you wide open. Not even worried about healing. That's how confident I am. He's dead. Hey, she hit finally. There we go. First try. Remember, this fight took me forever <laughs> on Barrett. Uh, speaking of Barrett, I actually uh, looked to see if um, I had a save for him still. And I do. I have a quick save left for him, but it's at the very end of the game. I think it's probably for the inevitable excess, is my guess. Um. Which is unfortunate. I would have liked to have maybe done a little mini series where we do the uh, devil quest that was added. But all right, who needs wisdom? I need wisdom. Uh, she uses wisdom, but not like an insane amount. Same with you. Same with. Do I not have anybody that's really wisdom based? I don't think so. You're probably the closest. Sure, you can have it. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Any other loots? Nope. Okay. Reggie, where you at? There you are. Kind of small. It's hard to find you. Regil gracefully stows his weapon and places his hand behind his back. You two, check the area. Mark any potential shelters that offer potential protection against aerial attacks. Quartermaster, inventory the remnants of the camp. I want to make sure that the gargoyles only abducted people and weren't interested in anything else. Send messengers immediately to our scout squads and order them to return to camp. And I need a full list of casualties. The sooner, the better. He turns to you and nods slightly. Commander. Your arrival was well-timed. Now we can finally talk. I'm quite interested in the events that occurred at the Great Garrison. I suppose you have questions for me as well. What do you want to know about what happened at the Great Garrison? Any shift in the balance of power during this war has a direct impact on my mission. If a new player appears who is capable of fighting demons effectively, then I am, then I am ready to support that person with all the resources I have at my disposal. Regil speaks pensively as if talking to himself, but naturally I cannot blindly trust a stranger, even one marked by the gods. The gods blessed me with an incredible gift, and Queen Galfrey put me in at the helm of the crusade. But that's not enough for you, is it? You have every right to doubt. I usually don't trust strangers either. I don't care at all whether, whether you believe me or not. Yes. We're, let's be... I don't care at all whether you believe me. Regil seems entirely unoffended by the harshness of your response. A perfectly reasonable position. And you're well within your rights. Although, if I were you, I wouldn't chase off potential allies so quickly. Is there anything you'd like to know before we move on to more serious issues? 
I do not want to join the Hell Knights. What are Hell Knights doing here within the borders of the World Wound? The same as you and your army, fighting a war against the demons. The Hell Knights have always been a part of the Crusades from the very beginning. We don't answer to Queen Galfrey and we act on our own authority, but we serve the common cause. The Skari's spawn have no place in the world we want to build. Regil barks out the final words. Funny, isn't it? Knights clad in black armor have been fighting this war from the off, but most people don't even know it. The face of the crusade is a Mendevian paladin with the sword of Iomade gleaming on their gilded armor. In that respect, my cousin Galfrey has a real flair for propaganda, I must say. What does Paralector mean? I am the commander of this unit, and in the order hier order's hierarchy. I am two steps lower than its leader. In the territory of Mendev and the world wound, there are a few who equal my rank, but I am the most senior Hell Knight officer for many leagues around. First a queen, now this Paralector. There's a whole lot of foreign taskmasters in our lands these days. Wherever you go in Sarkoris, there's always someone dishing out orders. Judging by your tattoos, you're one of the few Sarkorians who survived. If these are your lands, what's stopping you from taking charge yourselves? Perhaps it's high time you woke up from your dreams of a beautiful green Sarkoris and admitted that these lands haven't been yours for a hundred years now. Not done talking about your atrocities, what are you going to do now after the gargoyle attack? I will wait for my remaining fighters to return. What you see here is only a small part of my forces. As for my long-term plans, that depends on the results of our conversation, Commander. Regil narrows his eyes. Before we move on to serious subjects, I'd like to address an organizational issue regarding my units. You may wish to be present. Yakker steps forward and salutes with a clenched fist to his chest. Paralictor, permission to report. During the first gargoyle attack, I determined it necessary to leave my post. I swam over the river, found the commander's army, and asked them to provide assistance. Regil nods. The reinforcements were much needed. You will earn a double salary for your resourcefulness, Yakker, and a hundred lashes for abandoning your post. The young knight grows a little pale, but immediately salutes again. Yes, Paralictor. Don't forget he abandoned his armor. Hmm, you might be right. Regil doesn't take his eyes off the young knight, searching for signs of weakness. Another ten lashes for improper, improper treatment of order property. Yes, Paralector. This time, Yakker doesn't grow pale, but only salutes and clinches his teeth. Regil, who has watched you closely throughout the entire conversation, nods to himself. Now for a more delicate issue. You, Commander, were interested in our dispute with the Knights of the Order of the Sunrise Sword, correct? Their forces in Canabras suffered great losses in the demon attack, and now their leader has perished and his troops are in trouble. They are reeling with no command structure. Their order will hardly be able to recover from the losses they've suffered. What are you getting at? These fighters aren't the finest material I've worked with, but if I assume formal command over them, I'll be able to reforge them into weapons of reasonable quality. One or two might even become true Hell Knights. The rest will be put to good use as well. Do you really think these people will follow you after how you treated them? What does this have to do with me? Do you think they will follow you? Though not the best, they are still warriors and knights. They know what discipline is and that victory in war doesn't come without cost. Any among them who still haven't realized that aren't worth my time and effort. What does this have to do with me? A spark flashes in Red Regil's pale yellow eyes. I suppose, Commander, that for leagues around, from Canabras to Dresden, and from Dresden to the cursed city of Iz at the heart of the world wound, all of this pertains to you in one way or another. You are the catalyst that shifted an age-old balance of power, whether you meant to or not. Your own future, and much more, depends on the decisions you make here and now, even the ones that seem insignificant. You have already shown that you will easily sacrifice these people, use them as the living shields for your, per for your precious knights. I won't allow that to happen. Let them join my army. At least I don't treat my soldiers as expendable. No one but them has the right to decide their fate. Talk to them directly and get your answer. I will support you and recommend that the Knights of the Sunrise Sword fall in under your command, but I will expect you to support your support in return, Paralictor. Uh, I don't care about their fates. I don't care. Regil looks at the warriors in white and yellow, shifting cheerlessly 
from one foot to another. Initiates of the Sunrise Sword, your leader is dead. The Order has suffered serious losses and will not be able to recover. You may return to Mendev to join another Crusader Order and hope that they don't meet the same fate as the Sunrise Sword. Or you may remain under my command. I will not promise that it will be easy or that our war, war making will be constricted by your principles. What I can promise is this. Under my command, you will never again feel like helpless mice in the talons of a ravenous raptor. The strong subjugate the weak. All is as it should be. Winderwild gives Regil an appraising look until an even stronger leader comes along and unseats the previous one. Camellia scoffs. He's used to people following his orders. Then again, these sniveling cowards are used to humiliating treatment. They won't even consider testing him a little. Does that mean we've worked off the precious resources you spent, uh, spent on us? The water, medicine, and bandages? Yells one of the knights in white and yellow. I wouldn't make such an offer if I thought you were useless garbage. The initiates of the Sunrise Sword consult with each other for a time, and then one of them, a young woman in knight's armor, steps forward. Thank you for your trust, Paralector. We will stay, and are ready to obey your orders. Fine. In due course, I will review your troops and make any necessary decisions regarding your role in my unit. Let's return to you. And now, Commander, for the most important issue. Cooperation between our forces. We do have a common enemy and a common battlefield. My army and I are going to Dresden to free the city from demons. You can join with us. I helped, your ha I helped you handle the attack, but I don't want anything more to do with you. You can join forces with us on our way to Dresden. Regil rubs his chin pensively. Dresden. An ambitious goal, but most reasonable. Imagine how such a victory would rally all the separate bands of today's crusaders under one banner. And we certainly need a base of operations inside the world wound. I stand ready to support you. Moreover, I can accompany you in your campaign. However, I would remind you that Hell Knights are outside of Mendev's jurisdiction. My unit and I will join your forces and obey your orders, but only for as long as I deem that our goals coincide. It's a deal. Yes, Commander. My forces in Regil De Derin Deringe are at your disposal. All right. I'm going to leave it like that. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to bring him with us. I do love Reggie, but I just don't know if he fits Onward. with the group. Ow. Hey, buddy. We're still alive. Praise be to Saren Ray. Ah, little, little Dark Dark Souls reference here. Praise the sun. Praise him. Or her. <laughs> uh, we got a ring of protection plus two. Ooh. That is very nice. Does this stack with everything you've got? Yeah. Okay, yeah, you'll take that then. You can have... You can have the Storyteller's Ring. There you go. Nice, so she's got 30 AC now. She's she's going to be our tank, I think. So, if you guys have any advice on building a Shaman tank, let me know. The skeleton of a man wearing armor from the time of the First Crusade. It's holding the skeleton of a child with strange proportions and animal paws. Instead of its right arm and legs. Is that a mongrel? Child of the First Crusade there? Okay. I think that's everything. Let's go ahead on out of here. Back to camp. All right, back up there. Let's move already. Keep an eye out for any treasures we might have missed. Okay. Off we go.
Okay, so from here, let's go back to camp. Takes seven hours to get back. And it's also wartime. We got a unit of Hell Knights here. Which are good units. But we'll hold them in reserve. As for my main army, let's come up here. I'm gonna clear out the Nameless Ruins. Pursue them. Hunt them down. All right. Zombies. And, and whites. Let's get the whites. Good hit, good hit. Good. Up. Oh. Skipped a turn. Everybody else is going to wait. Fire. 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 Open fire. Fire at will. And then you guys wait. Fire. I think we've got him. Okay, the whites are down. I think we can wait one more round. Yep, perfect. Kill the zombies now. Move up. Smite him. Good damage, good damage. And again. Oh, you guys are done for. It's didn't stand a chance. Again. What, uh... Is that morale that constitutes them getting a second attack? I think so. Nice, easy victory against undead forces. And I think... Have we cleared out all the armies up to where we're headed? A corpse in a tattered scout's cape, bearing the emblem of the crusade, was leading the undead squad. He battled on until he ran out of bolts and desperately tried to conceal his crossbow with his own body even when the soldiers were hacking off his limbs. And that is a heavy crossbow of judgment. Plus two, heavy crossbow has a critical range reduced to 20. Whenever it threatens a critical hit against an evil or chaotic creature, it automatically confirms. Okay. Neat. All right. Yep. So all the armies besides this level seven one, which we are not ready to take on. If we were if we were like five, maybe I'd consider it. But we are not. So not happening. So just meet up with the rest. We have new soldiers. We can hire some mercenaries. Let's get some more clerics. I'm okay with that. And then, yeah, hire you guys, too. And have you guys move on up. I wonder if I should have the, um... The Hell Knights instead of the Scouts. I wonder which one of those is better. I mean, the Hell Knights are probably better. Hmm, I don't know. It's tough. It's tough. Okay, looking at the time, I think we're going to end the episode there. In the next episode, we'll head back to camp. We'll talk to Reggie, do some selling, rest, and then we'll move on. We gotta get, we've got some things to do on this side of the river before we head up to this area here where we have the, um, the continuation. So we need to go back, do this. There's some things down here we got to do and uh, all of that stuff. Yeah, until then, hope you all have a wonderful day, and I'll catch you later.